the audio customers. So um, how QuickBooks shows an inactive, I'm not sure if there's one in here. No, it's with an X. So anything active has a little X next to it. And if I say, okay, I want to see just my active customers, that would disappear. But if you wanted it back and said, oh, I'm doing business with them again, and you don't want to re-enter all the info, and you really shouldn't anyways, just go back and make them active again. Okay? You use that. Uh, right. Well, no, here. You can just click on here. You can right-click to make it active, or you can just see how this X? Yeah. I'm doing that. I'm doing that. I'm making it active. You can look that way. So he's always going to be in that list. It's just when you're using other things, he's not going to be popping up in that Correct. list. Correct. Uh, yeah, they're always going to be in that list, but either inactive or active, either displayed or not. Vendors. Sure. Well, let me, uh, good question. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I have that All right. For me, for example, you had Frank Dining in there, and I was a customer of yours, and you were a customer of mine. Uh, you can have me in there, but you would vary it by an alpha vary or you know,